wall of separation between church and state seems to be under assault by the Supreme Court. Robert Jackson, we need you now. You are not wobbly about church-state separation. Justice Jackson said in that often maligned Everson v. Board of Education decision in 1948, quote, the effect of religious freedom, of the religious freedom amendment, referring to the First Amendment of the Constitution, was to take every form of propagation of religion out of the realm of things which should be directly or indirectly be made public business. Jackson understood the centrality of the First Amendment and the role of the separation of the institutions of government from the institutions of religion to protect religious freedom. He generalized, and this is one of his most famous and one of my favorite quotes from Justice Jackson, if there is any fixed star in our constitutional constellation, it is that no official, high or petty, can prescribe what shall be orthodox in politics, nationalism, religion, or other matters of opinion, or for citizens to confess by word or act their faith therein. If there are any circumstances, continued Justice Jackson, which permit an exception, they do not now occur to us. Us, the court, you're driving, you know, for the court. Jackson was chosen in his high school graduation in this very area as class orator. And he re remained an orator with class. Robert H. Jackson, born 110 years ago, saw himself primarily as a lawyer. He reflected on his practice in Jamestown, his notion that the Constitution cherished human human personality above all and that protecting human, human personality was both a civic necessity and a spiritual duty. His notion that the Constitution cherished human personality above all and that protecting human personality was both a civic necessity and a spiritual duty would be welcome today in the very offices he once held. Solicitor General, Attorney General, Associate Justice of the Supreme Court. We need you now, Justice Jackson.